Yo, that really hurt. What is good? My anime people. What is good, yo? Guys, I I am so, so interested in this show, but to think that this episode kind of hurt my feelings in the grand scheme of if they really did what I think they did, it's going to be pretty rough uh, for these characters who I was really growing to enjoy being uh, in the know. But if they really just got their memories taken away, I'm kind of curious to see how uh, much they retained. Especially seeing how the uh, bodyguards are someone that they kind of had names for. Uh, Old dudes is something they do call them. But to think that the guy who's really good at computers, uh, who isn't, you know, got the mutation or something, whatever the modified stuff is, um, whoever has done this and seemingly, you know, did it for their own good, it's going, I don't know, I feel like it's going pretty far, only in the grand scheme of they are going to be in danger regardless because of the place you're at. Sure, they're not going to jump into danger nearly as much if they don't know that, you know, I I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think they are underestimating the redhead guy, and regardless of if he's, you know, his knowledge of things are gone, he would still jump in and try to help anybody that he saw in trouble. So, regardless, he's going to end up in the same position, if not the exact position, that's a low, ugh, um, and wind up seeing him in a case where he's going to try to, probably try to save somebody that really doesn't need saving, or even run into the wrong situation at the wrong time, so we'll have to definitely keep an eye on that, uh, because I'm really interested in seeing just how this whole memory thing is going to play out now that they supposedly have forgotten some of the more key details of their relationship with these people. So very, very interested in seeing how that is going to play out as a whole. But outside of that, everybody, I really, I think this show is good. But I also think that this was a, one of these episodes that kind of showcased that it can do whatever it wants. And what it wanted to do right now is to kind of cover its trails with the people who aren't strong enough to even put up a fight against these meta uh you know modified humans who frankenstein and ray could absolutely destroy and slap so they weren't any type of threat to either of them and i feel like if one of them had shown up and taken care of the situation all by themselves it would have been just fine but because there's the hostage situation because there's other people that can get involved that knew what was going on and they were using them because of that. It makes the situation that much more difficult, that much more uh, dire in a sense, because they want these students to live normal lives, but because they're in their lives, they can't. And <laughs> they think by taking themselves out of their lives, they're going to put them in a better protected spot. But what I don't understand by them is any of these students can end up in this situation, any of them. So to think that you are saving or helping them by uh, erasing their memories, it kind of defeats the purpose. But I think it also just comes down to keeping the secret of these powers and these different beings and these different, uh, you know, deities or whatever you want to call them a secret from people and what better way for them to keep a secret than if they don't even remember these things happening they they could have easily made them forget everything about these characters and they just don't even talk to them at the school anymore but that also feels like something uh rai doesn't want right like the master does not want to separate himself completely from these children Especially seeing how he's been enjoying himself. And the basketball match, man, don't tell me why I got so nostalgic for 
uh, Sora. I wanted to watch Sora so much more after seeing this basketball portion, man. <sighs> but I guess I'll just have to either wait or start a new basketball show if Sora doesn't come back. But with all that being said, everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you watch this out of your boy, the Anime G. And let me know if you guys want me to look up some other shows, uh, basketball sports shows, and talk about them, because I think I just might if I have to, uh, and maybe just do, like, an over-review of, like, a bunch of episodes that I watch, and not just, like, uh, episode by episode, but yeah, I definitely like where this show is going, there's a lot of potential, and I feel as if if you like the show, you probably already have a character you're looking forward to seeing. And I feel like a lot of people had hopes for this red-haired human who seemingly was capable of keeping up with a lot of different uh, people during the fights and doing quite well against them. So, with all that being said, everybody, I got to get out of here. This video would be so much longer <laughs> if, I, if I just stayed home. But I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.